You must be Nepos the no- Oh, look at the nose. I see why you get that name. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. the Scarlet Witch and Talium. There's a few days before the ship leaves for Solstein, and I just wanted to help out a few more people before I left. So I don't know if finding a cure for my magic of poisoning will be successful or not. So I need to make my last few days count. All right, Scarlet Witch, I'm gonna go on inside. You and Talium wait out here. The Shrine of Talos. Here I go. Oh, okay. Oh, you both came in. All right, well, thank you. I appreciate your looking out for me. I'm sorry to drag you into Markarth's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. Okay. So, what are you talking about? You want answers? Well, so do I. So does everyone in the city. A man goes crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. Okay, so are you asking me to find out why? This has been going on for years. And all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please. You find out why that woman was attacked. Who's behind Wayland and the Forsworn. And I'll pay you for any information you bring me. Okay, well, what do you know about Margaret? She's not from Markarth. The air about her screamed outsider. Visitors to the city usually stay at the Silver Blood Inn. And who was Wayland? Where did he live? He was one of the smelter workers. I used to have a job down there myself, casting silver ingots. I never knew much about Whalen except he lives in the Warrens, like all the other workers. Tell me more about the Forsworn. They're remnants of the old rulers of Markarth, natives of the Reach, followers of the old ways. The Nords drove them out of the city, Ulfric Stormcloak and his men. That was about 20 years ago, but somehow they're still here. And they're killing people. And you've looked into these murders? Yes. It all started when I was a boy. Wow, that's a My long time. My father owned one of the mines. Rare for anyone who was in the Nord. He was killed. Guards said it was just a madman, but everyone knew the murderer was a member of the Forsworn. I've been trying to find out why ever since. Gotten nowhere so far. And then I got married. I have a child of my own on the way. I swore I was going to just give up for my child's sake, but it's like my father's ghost is haunting me, asking me why. All right, then. Be careful who you talk to. Thanks. All right, Talium, Scarlet Witch, come on, let's go. We have several people to visit. God. I have a lot of respect for the restoration school. Skyrim could use more healers. I'm gonna be a silversmith one day, like my mother and father. See, silver is such big business here in Markarth. All right, we'll start at the end. I Excuse mostly me. deal with petty thievery and dragon brawls. Been too long since we've the Imperials. Other Klepper is the one you want to talk to. Well, drink I just clean up. We'll Wait, how did I get the key to Margaret's room? That we fight all our lives. And when Sovereign Guard beckons, every one of us dies. Margaret's journal. Meeting at the Treasury House. 
later today. Took them long enough, these people act like they own everything. Thonar Silverblood is the younger brother, but he's obviously the one in charge. Makes all the deals, bullies local landowners into selling to him. Even employs that wispy girl at the door to deter troublemakers like me. General Tullius is growing impatient, but I'll bring back the deed to sit in the mine. On my life, I won't allow a group of Stormcloak sympathizers to own the prison to the most notorious criminals of the Reach. They say no one escapes. Why? Is it really that secure? Maybe I've played my hand too soon by rushing the confrontation with Thonar. There are shadows around every corner in this city, and I know I'm being watched. Hmm. Something must have happened to Margaret. All right, come on. Ah, my son. You'll be a fine innkeeper someday. This one's a favorite of mine. You. I've seen you swooping around, asking questions. Back off. You don't want to know what happens to troublemakers here. Oh? Well, what happens? I'm curious. Fun. This is your last warning, outsider. We keep the peace here. Stay out of our business. Our business, huh? Not spoken like a true guard of Markarth, but someone who's in too deep. Come on, let's go. I'm not going to be bullied by these guards. Alright, our next stop is down here. I'm not sure what they call this place, but it's where the, um, the workers live. The Warrens. You there, can you help me? The Warrens isn't a place for your type. What My do you want? type? Um... Did you know Waylon? Oh yes. I know everyone who sleeps in the Warrens. Kind of the one who passes the keys around. I guess someone else will be taking his room now. I need the key to Waylon's room. Sorry, but you don't exactly belong here. I wasn't asking. Now, don't get all upset. Here. Take it. Can you train me to sneak? There's nothing more I can teach you. I didn't think so. I would ask, thought I'd ask anyway. So tell me, what are the Warrens? It's where you go when you can't afford a room anywhere else. About the time they opened the mines, someone got the idea to throw beds in here. Laborers, the sick, the lame, we're all here. So only the poor or sick live here? That's right. Welcome to Markarth, Traveler. Thank the Divines you can choose to live somewhere else. Hmm. Until next time. Well, you can probably count me among the sick. I hope I don't end up here. All right, come on. Talium? Scarlet? Who are you? You don't want to be here. Okay. No one wants to. I believe you. Alright, this is someone else's room. Koshnok. Alright then. Hmm, Degain. I seem to know that name from somewhere. Eltris room. It's a good thing that they put, um names on these doors. Here, here's Wayland's room. Hmm. 
All right, have a look around. I guess the chest is probably the best place to start. A note. Waylon, you've been chosen to strike fear in the heart of the Nords. Go to the market tomorrow. You'll know what to do. Hmm, this must have been where I came in and saw him stabbing that woman. But why? Alright, come on, let's go. You've been digging around where you don't belong. It's time you've learned a lesson. What? Who sent you? Someone who doesn't like you asking questions. Come on, oh, let's what? see what you're made of. How? No! Oh! 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 That's bad. Oh! 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 Stop it! Stop hitting me! that are keeping me alive. fighter here in Skyrim. Okay, come on, let's go. Right behind you. Okay, where... Where are we going next? Have several destinations. Oh, here's the first one here. What was this? Thong Thongvar. Silverblood. I think he's one person we're gonna need to talk to. Are you going in, sir? Alright, well I'll just see you inside. Riata, did you clean the tables today? They're filthy. I'm sorry, Ventred. I'll clean them right away. No, don't bother. You're useless, as always. I'll get Ildine to do it. Who am I supposed sorry, to talk Patrick. to? I thought I had cleaned the tables properly. Riata? Oh, stop apologizing. The treasury house is really just for patrons of the Silverblood family. You don't belong here. I misspoke. Never mind what I said. Who's in charge here? You want Thonar Silverblood. He handles all the family business. If you're here to talk politics, though, you'd want his brother, Thongvor. He spends most of his time in Understone Keep. What kind of patrons do you have? For one, the landowners of the Reach. It goes without saying that they rely heavily on us for our silver and support. All the miners, farmers, and laborers in the Reach get their daily wages through us. Nepos the Nose handles that part of our business. He has a way with the workers. I want to know more about the Silverbloods. It's an old family, very well respected throughout the Reach. The Silverbloods run nearly all the lands in this hold, as well as the local inn. And of course they own Sidna Mine, 
the finest prison and source of silver in Skyrim. All right then, I need to see Thonar. I'm afraid he's asked not to be disturbed. He has important business. Hmm. Well, you know what, young lady? I wasn't asking. Go. Go right ahead then. Don't let me keep you. Thonar? Thonar Silverblood? What are you doing here? I told them no visitors. Did you send that guard to threaten me? What did you expect? That no one was going to notice you butting into business that wasn't yours? The guards know who holds the purse strings in this city, and I don't like snoops. Markarth is my city. You have no right looking into my business. Now get out. What? By the gods, veteran! No, stay out of this! It's too late. Scarlet Witch! Like the bites of a flea. Right. My wife. They killed him. What? Damn Madanak. Damn his forsworn backside. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to say that you deserve this, especially with your attitude towards me. Shut up. Only the gods can judge me. You want to know what the forsworn really are? They're my puppets. I have their king rotting in Sidna Mine. He was supposed to keep them under control. The Forsworn have a king? Madanak, the king in rags. While we were off fighting the elves in the Great War, Madanak was busy ruling over the Reach, until Ulfri came and put them down. So you made a deal with the Forsworn? When their uprising was crushed, I had Madanak brought to me. He was a wild animal, but a useful one. I offered him a stay from execution, if he used his influence to deal with any annoyances that came up. Competitors, agents, idiots. So I've let him run his little forsworn rebellion from inside Sidna Mine. Now he's out of control. So tell me about this Sidna Mine. My prison. The source of half the silver in Skyrim. The most secure prison in Tamriel. No one escapes. I thought keeping Madanak down there would keep him under control. Well, obviously you were wrong. So, Madanak seems to be the source of all the problems here. Is he the one that I need to take care of? You already got what you wanted, you damn hound. This is your fault. Oh no, it isn't. It's you yours. You are animals. What? How dare you? To death in Sidna Mine what? Place. Now get out of my house. You're lucky I don't strike you down here. Get out of my house. Now. All right, come on, let's go. Wait, this ash pile, who did this? Was that you, Scarlet Witch? Good day, ma'am. All right, let's see. Where is it we need to go next?
Excuse me. What's your business here? I'm here to see Nepos. We haven't been expecting you, and the old man needs his rest. Come back some other time. I'm Wait. right behind you. It's okay, my dear. Send him. You heard him. Go on in. All right, thank you. You don't have to push all up against me now. I'm in a bad mood. I've had a bad day. You must be Nepos the no- Oh, look at the nose. I see why you get that name. I'm sorry about my housekeeper. She's a little protective of me. Now, what is it you want? I know about Waylon. Ah, yes. You've proven to be a real bloodhound. Well, you've sniffed me. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years. Sending the young to their deaths. All in the name of the Force Woman. And I'm tired. So tired. Why? Because my king told me to. Madanoth. When the uprising fell at the hands of the Nords, they threw him in the mines. I don't know how, but he lives. I get his messages, and I hand out his orders without question. Tell me more about this Madanok. He is the king in rags. A man who once held all the reach within his grip. He stokes the passions of the downtrodden in this city. Directs them to kill the enemies of the Forsworn in our name. All from inside Sidna Mine. A Nord prison. The irony is quite thick. You mentioned an uprising. Markarth and the Reach are our land. That is why we are the Forsworn. We cannot claim the home that is rightly ours. But then, during their war with the Elves, we had our moment. We drove the Nords out of the Reach in a great uprising. Then Ulfric and his men came. Those of us who didn't run were executed, except for myself, my king, and a handful of others. So, why are you telling me all this? My dear boy, what makes you think you're getting out of here alive? You were seen coming in. The girl at the door is a Forsworn agent masquerading as a maid. No, really? You aren't the first one to have gotten this far. You won't be the last. Okay, so you're threatening me. You realize that I am a master mage, and I have two companions with me. Do you really think any of you stand a chance? I thought I heard something. exciting. What's in here? I'm taking this gold for my trouble. Alright, what is Nepos carrying? Let me read this journal. I grow guilt-ridden in my old age. So many of the young sent to their deaths, all in the name of the Forsworn, all in the name of Madanok, my king, who watches us from behind the iron bars of Sidna Mine. How long have I served you? Since the uprising against the Nords? Was there ever a time when all that violence hasn't overshadowed our destinies? What choice do I have but to do as I am instructed? Hmm. It's too bad. Well, this is the the maid that's a Forsworn agent. We'll take these lockpicks. All right, I think we're clear. All 
All right, let's go. See, now where do I need to go now? Alright, back into the Shrine of Talos. You'll wait out here so, while I conclude our business. Okay, or not. What is it? Um, what's going on here, guard? Mm hmm. Let's have some light. Wait a minute. Eltris. He's been murdered. What's going on here? This is Markarth, Traveler. Safest city in the Reach. Really? Somehow I don't see that. I Is something supposed to happen other than me finding Eltris' body? As if Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders. Now we've got mercenaries from Hammerfeld strutting about. All right, then. This is all you two have to say. Dragonborn, it is my honor to stand before you. All right. Activating the Shrine of Talos doesn't seem to do anything either. What? I don't know, was Eltris supposed to be alive? Well, it looks like we're finished here. Come on, let's go.